Some sea turtle projects can leave nests on the beach and stall nest markers, whereas other projects utilize a sea turtle hatchery and relocate the eggs off of the beach. Hi, for those new here, my name is Leah. I've been in the field of sea turtle conservation for over 10 years, and I recently came across this quote, which got me thinking about what else I could do to further help sea turtles, conservation efforts, and education, which is really what sparked this YouTube channel. So I share different sea turtle educational videos. My turtle puppet, Miss Myrtle, might also be featured. Um, if you would like the video, subscribe to the channel to join this turtly awesome community. I would really appreciate it. So some projects utilize a sea turtle hatchery like here at Reserva Playa Tortuga in Costa Rica. A sea turtle hatchery is a secure enclosure on or near a sea turtle nesting beach where at-risk nests are relocated to. It is a popular conservation strategy used across the world. Its core principle is to combat threats to sea turtle eggs such as illegal poaching, animal predation, beach erosion, and tidal flooding events. Here at Reserva Playa Tortuga, there's a sign and a gate to come into the hatchery where there's a table and workspace area along with the large hatchery that has the sea turtle nest buried down below. Hatcheries will vary in shape and size from project to project and region to region, really depending on nest numbers, the species present, and also the weather conditions of the area. Sadly, prior to my arrival, there was actually poaching that occurred in this hatchery, and so now it is guarded 24-7. The main reason for a hatchery is to protect sea turtle eggs, but an added benefit is the educational resource that it could provide with signage and allowing visitors and tourists to come view the hatchery and learn about the sea turtle species. So the nesting beach is patrolled at night and as soon as the eggs are found, they are gathered and relocated here to this guarded hatchery. Each nest is put into the hatchery in a numbered grid. In this hatchery, the X axis had a letter and the number uh, was on the Y axis and so they would know which nest was in which grid. There is a mesh placed around the egg chamber so when the hatchlings emerge, they're contained until we can collect them. Once the nest exhumation is done and a success rate is recorded, the hatchlings are brought back to the area where they were initially laid and released to the ocean. Although to leave nests where they were initially laid and in situ is ideal, some projects are unable to due to the threats that they face. These sea turtle projects have used hatcheries to protect and improve their local sea turtle population. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video. Be sure to subscribe, give this video a like, and we'll see you next time.